All right, with yeah, that, we're going to jump to some Forex, Basil. Let's go over to our man, Great. Teddy Kegstat from forex-trading-unlock.com. Folks, you can check out Teddy every trading day over there. We interview and talk to Teddy every Wednesday, 1040 in the morning. Teddy, good morning. Teddy, I'd like to introduce you to our man, Basil Chapman. Basil, Mr. Teddy Kegstat. How are we doing, Teddy? Hi, Teddy. It's me here. So, Teddy, where are we looking on Forex, man? We have quite a week going on. We got rates trading a bit higher. Um, what do you have on your radar? What are you checking out in terms of Forex this week? Well, this week now, it's, we're heading into a holiday week. I would say be very, very careful if you're not in a position already that you're managing. I would say be very careful about uh, getting one on right now because volatility could be crazy over the next couple of days. Most likely it will not be because Friday the markets are going to be closed. Um, or closing, you know, from Europe on in, and uh, it's, you know, it's pretty much going to be a three-day weekend, you know, as far yes. as Europe. Yes, we'll be closed on Friday, definitely, yes. So, so in that regards, I would say be careful when it comes to trading any of the currencies. Um, right now, they're kind of in a holding pattern for the British pound, Canada, the yen is floating around the 112 area. Um, so I would say, like, right now, don't expect any major breakout um, unless there's some really big news that comes out. Um, what you did mention there at the beginning was the interest rates. Um, that is one thing I think that's supporting the dollar right now. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking how the carry trade is off the table. I think right now, because you have the two-year through the 30-year pressing the lows, meaning rates are going a little bit higher on the market side, I think that's supporting the dollar right now. You know, there's no real fundamental news outside of that that would be supporting it right now, you know, especially with oil on its highs. So I think that right now, be very careful. Most markets are in a holding pattern, but we do have the Swiss that is now pushing that, uh, you know, they've been holding above parity and now they're at a buck oh one almost, you know, so that'll be interesting because you have almost a head and shoulders, it looks like forming. So unless they can take out those highs and maybe get up to 102, um, I think that we might see, that's when we'll see a turn in the dollar, but it's probably going to take about a, another week or so before that settles in. And Teddy, I just have the site up here, forex-trading-unlock.com, folks, and you'll see a menu at the top. You can click on Forex here. Teddy's got a lot of great charts of all these currencies. So if you can explain to people what, what's going on in these charts, Teddy, as I'm jumping around. Like, for instance, uh, we always talk about the Swiss franc. I get the Swiss franc up there. We got a lot of good action, and then we have details going on on the right. Um, if you can explain about what kind of goes on with these charts and what they're looking at here. Okay, with those charts, they're all fully functional. You don't have to log in. You just, like you said, you click on the links and you go on to the uh, chart. So you can manipulate those and do analysis from anywhere in the world if you've got a um, desktop or a laptop to work from. Yeah. And uh, there's the news feeds that come in, so you have things that come in from StockTwix, FX.com, and a whole bunch of other different news sources, anything that pertains like on, on those individual pages for those markets. So everything that you see on those news parts there, those are all Euro-related or you know, Forex related. No, it's nice and easy, man. I like how you set it up, grabbing all these currencies as we jump around. Um, Basil, I know you're, you're always looking at Forex when you're talking about dollars and so forth. Did you have anything to ask uh, Teddy I about? I do. If you, if you, um, I'm not sure what uh, the answer would be, but my question here is that in relation to gold and the dollar, where they often move in counterpoint, and every once in a while, I always say about six weeks or so, a couple of times a year, they actually move in sequence together in the same direction, not the same percentage. The dollar has been held, holding very well. And we only have about 50 seconds, Basil. So okay, 97.71 high. Why, why do you think? Is it more currency related right now that the dollar hasn't actually spiked into the 97.40, 97.60 area, but it hasn't broken down either? I think it's more the interest rate variable. I think that's what's supporting the dollar right now. Okay. So in the, in the cycle of things right now, like you have the interest rates that are pushing the um, higher level or lower pricing, higher levels, that typically goes first, then gold will follow later. And that's why I think you see, you've seen the little sell off in gold is now kind of following the interest rates. But on a weekly basis, it's about two or three weeks behind the interest rates. Got it. Teddy, we always appreciate the interview, man. We appreciate the education. Have yourself a great week. How's that Chicago weather, man? You know what? It was nice and sunny yesterday. I got a little uh, rain. Perfect. We're coming into May soon, man. Take care, Teddy. We'll talk to you next week.